Thank you guys so much for stopping by to hang out with me for a little bit here on my channel. So as promised in my fall home tour for 2021, I'm coming to you with a refresh here of the dining room and how I've decorated it for this fall season. So if you're paying attention at all, you'll notice that in each one of the rooms here at our farmhouse, we have many doors. Um, I jokingly refer to it as the land of many doors, seriously. Um, and as you can see, the door that you are seeing right there in the corner, that door leads out to our southern napping porch. And we never use that door. We have another door basically right around the corner from that one that we do use to get out there. So one thing that you will notice always throughout our farmhouse is faux florals. I love live plants and I have quite a few of them here in the dining room as well, which I am an extremely proud plant mom, um, but I do love faux florals. It's a craft outlet for me. They just bring me a lot of joy and I love to create them. So most of the ones that you see are going to be created, like I said, by myself. Um, another one of my loves is dishes. I absolutely love dishes. And so I'm just kind of showing you how I've got these on display here in the dining room on the table. Um, and then I believe, yeah, I do. I pick them up and I'm just kind of showing you what the make of them is. Um, some people get interested in that. Those Johnson brother plates right there are some of my all time favorite. I would love to have um, some more serving platters and stuff like that in that same print. And then unfortunately, I only have a couple of these right here, the Hunter. I'd like to have some more of them. They just make great display plates um, for the fall season with those colors. So my beautiful friend Deborah over at the Painted South, I'm sure you guys have heard of her channel. If not, you need to check her out. She was the one that clued me in to these chairs that they were selling on Facebook Marketplace. And I went, I saw them, I messaged the lady and I grabbed them up. I absolutely love them. So I decided to use them in place of the head chairs here at the dining room table but I need to get casters for them. They're just a little bit too short, so that's something that I still have to work on. This dresser is a thrift store find. I literally think I paid maybe like five, six, seven bucks for it. I bought it with the intentions of painting it, but I ended up loving it just as it is. And so I like that it brings the brown, more brown in here. Um, to match the top of my dining room table because as you will see, I'm sure you've already seen it, my hutch I chalk painted in a blue color. And so um, I like to kind of have that eclectic mix going on in this room.
this picture that you're about to see, I purchased from Hobby Lobby. This was the third item that I had purchased for this spot. So the third time was the charm. I took everything else back um, and I really loved it, but I had to make it kind of my own. So I added that faux floral topper for it. And I just, I love it. It turned out so pretty. I like the fact that it's got that wood frame around it, which ties in with the dresser and the top of the dining room table. So these curtain panels that you see here were actually a tablecloth. Um, at Target, had these tablecloths in a 120 inch size. They were only $15. And I took one tablecloth and cut it in half and was able to get two panels out of it. So, so pretty. I love that it brings more of that fall color in there. So inexpensive. I ended up purchasing three tablecloths in all for all three of the windows in here and I used those O-rings with the clips to just attach them to my curtain rods. So I really didn't do any decorating inside of the hutch. I just decided not to, um, but I do get asked quite often about this hutch. I did paint it using the Waverly brand of chalk paint in the color Ocean, and then I used a white, I of course distressed it, and I also used a white wax to bring out some of those really pretty details that you see, and I absolutely love it. I love, love this piece so much. This mirror is a really old, super heavy mirror that I kind of whitewashed a little bit. It originally was kind of a gold color. I love it. It's probably one of my favorite thrift store finds. Um, I do not remember exactly how much money I paid for it, but I know it was no more than $20 and it is super heavy, super old. guys so much for stopping by my channel and watching this video of my dining room refresh for fall if you haven't already done so I would invite you to become a part of my YouTube family by hitting that subscribe button and making sure that you hit that bell to be notified of when I place new videos up and also if you love all things fall and you love 
the dining room here at the farmhouse, make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. Have a great day, guys. Thank you.